A town turns out in force to remember one of their own. One of the 13 members of the military killed when a bomb went off in Afghanistan just days ago was born and raised right here in Northern Ohio. News 5's Caroline Sweeney was in Berlin Heights and found out what connects a small town in this tragedy. And there were flags everywhere coming through the country. On the way into Berlin Heights this late summer night, it was hard to miss the patriotism and the purpose. Wish we never had to know how nice y'all were, but you guys have been incredible. For all of these flags and all of these people. 22-year-old Max Soviak died in the bombing attack at the Kabul airport on August 26th. It is altogether fitting and proper that we should do this, all of us here. Berlin Heights is small. Less than 650 people live here. It's tight knit like a family. And Max's sister Kathleen says he found family everywhere. Because that, that was Max. He walked into a room and made you feel like you were one of his. The small town swelled around 6 p.m. as people started coming in to show support. So many people came here, the church couldn't hold them all. So they stood on the lawn of the school where Max was once a student. More people, more flags more military family, like Renee Schneider. They, right now they're um, probably, um, I would say numb. A Gold Star mom, Renee understands what it means to have people at the vigil like this, to see these flags, these messages of remembrance, these small gestures of togetherness. But they'll look back on this and, and know that we're all here. Max Soviak was one of 13 servicemen and women killed in the attack all of them less than 32 years old. And every time I see a flag, it makes me think of them every single time. In Berlin Heights, Caroline Sweeney, News 5.